If you want to be an equity analyst, add these Bloomberg functions to your CV. And if you already are an equity analyst, watch this video and let me know how many of these you already know. The format of this video will be a bit different than usual as I thought we could do a quiz on the stock NVIDIA. I have six questions for you and I will show you how to answer them using the terminal. To give you a bit of context, NVIDIA's made 6 billion in 2023 and 43 billion in profit in uh, the last 12 months. Is also on track to make around 66 billion before the end of 2025 and it's the most popular stock on the planet right now what it's profiting from is the growth in artificial intelligence that's because for ai software to be functional in its two things in its training on huge amounts of data and also fast delivery of output to ensure these two things you need the most powerful hardware uh, and the very best is made by nvidia with that in mind let's start the quiz Question one, what was the most mentioned topic in the quarter one earnings transcript? AI and machine learning, generative AI or China? Mm -hmm. To answer this question, we load the ticker NVDA, US equity, and then we type DSTA go. From the list at the bottom, we should select quarter one, which is here. And then we select in this new view topics here next to summary on the left. So we see that the correct answer is AI and machine learning with 42 mentions. China has only three mentions this quarter, by the way. So easy peasy if we know where to look. Question two. By how much did data center revenue be estimates in the last quarter? 5%, 7% or 10%? So because we have the uh, NVIDIA ticker still selected, from this view we can type EEG. And once we are here, we set the amber bar in the top left to revenue data center. We, se we can select it from this drop down menu. And then we click actual versus estimates on the right. The third option here. And lastly, we should check the periodicity. Of course, uh, we want quarters. So here just below. And then we look at the bars in the view and we compare them. We compare the white and the blue because the estimate was 21 billion versus the 22.5 actual realized. That is a 7% uptick, so option B is the right answer, 7%. Question 3. NVIDIA launched a $25 billion buyback program in August 2023. How much of the program has been completed as the day of this recording? 38%, 48% or 58%? To answer this, we type BBK in the search bar, go. And this will take us to the buyback screen. At the top left, we see that the current program is ongoing and that 58% of it has been actioned so far. Just one comment on this. Um, when Nvidia launched the program in August of last year, the stock had already rallied 200% since the start of 2023. So many analysts were a bit puzzled because buybacks are usually initiated when the stock price is on a downward trajectory but i guess it can still make sense if management believes that the stock is undervalued that it could be worth more uh, and they have a huge amount of cash up on the balance sheet just sitting there they don't want to use it for acquisitions so they use it for buybacks and that's great news for the investors because it gives you a capital gain um, and so appreciation question four uh, while Microsoft, Amazon, Meta and Alphabet are NVIDIA's customer, they've also been developing their own AI chips. And this theoretically poses uh, a threat to NVIDIA's revenue. Which of these companies is NVIDIA's largest customer based on revenue generation? Amazon, Meta or Microsoft? To find out, we type SPLC in the search bar and then go. This is a function that we use for supply chain analysis. So in this chart, we have the suppliers on the left 
and the customers on the right. The customers are ordered from top spender to bottom spender. And we can see that the first name on the list is Microsoft. So option C is the right answer. Question five, Nvidia has outperformed the S&P by almost 120% this year. Which of the following factors does NVIDIA have least exposure compared to the SPX index, momentum growth or low volatility? To answer this one, we type TLTS to see the tilts, essentially. Um, and then in this view, we set the benchmark um, in this amber box to SPX. Then we see that momentum and growth are actually very strong. Intuitively, we might have known that. Um, and the lowest bar, the most negative bar, is the low volatility. So that is the factor with the lowest exposure. Question six, which is the last question. What is the average coupon rate on NVIDIA's bonds? 1.6%, 2.6% or 3.6%? To answer this, type search, S-R-C-H, NVDA in the search bar, go. This is the function to search corporate bonds. So this will give me all the liquid that is issued by NVIDIA. To see the full list, I click on results in the bottom right. There's not many out there. Um, the list of coupons is in the third column from the left. And at the top, we have the average coupon, which is 2.6%. So option B. That's all for today. Let me know how many of these uh, you got right. I hope you learned something useful today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.